Hey everybody, we are teaching Gravity Sketch, and this particular episode is all about using layers in Gravity Sketch. So I'm going to bring up my layers control. That's going to be in our blue main toolbars. Layers has its own setting. Now, not only can we use it as its own setting, but if you use your grabber tool and touch the outline, see how it turns purple? I can actually pull that panel off and leave it in the air, so now I can demonstrate it. Most of your panels can pop off, so if you do want to use them regularly, you can put them off to the side. They will stay in relation to your headset, not the model, so you can move the model around, but your panels will stay in place. But with our layers panel, here's how it's going to work. I've got one layer for this gravity sketch. So I'm going to draw a couple of cubes. Let's get a cube, and I'm even going to make it a subdivide object so I can do cool stuff with it. Now I'm going to take this cube, and I'm going to make a couple of duplicates. There we go. Cubes in this layer. The layer has three different controls, a magnifying glass, a padlock, so you can see what I'm talking about. Now the slider is transparency. I can actually have this layer fade in, fade out, go translucent, transparent. So if I want to simulate glass or something like that, I can make this whole layer become translucent. The lock. Now my layer is locked. It even adds a warning to my controller. I cannot grab this. I cannot delete from this. I cannot change this layer in any way. If I paint something new, it is part of this layer, but I can't move it, I can't change it, I can't even turn it into a subdivide because this layer is locked. Hitting the padlock again unlocks the layer. Now I can grab pieces, delete pieces, manipulate it however I want. So the padlock simply freezes this layer the way it is, so you can't accidentally make changes other than adding more pieces to it. One piece is great, but now we can use the plus to add more than one layer. But why would we need more than one layer? Really, it's to control your model into separate segments. So I've got these green cubes here right now. Let's get everything placed the way we want them. On that is all taking place on layer one. If I want to add anything more to the green cubes, make sure I have selected layer one, and now anything else I draw is going to be part of that layer. I'm now going to go to layer two and add some different color pieces. Another box, and we're again going to subdivide just in case. But now I can make more of these pink boxes, and they are part of layer two. I can now control one thing's transparency separate from the others. I can use the magnifying glass if I only want to see that layer at the time. It will hide the other layers. I could even have all of these pieces overlap. Let's grab these and group these together. So I can put them, even if they overlap, I can still control which one is in control at the time. Everything I'm doing will be added to layer two. If I reach into the green cube in layer one, it will still let me change it and control it and manipulate it the way I want it will know green is still part of layer one. Even though layer two is highlighted, green is layer one, pink is layer two. It will keep track even if you don't. But now I could do things like have the engine and drivetrain in a car in layer one, chassis and body in layer two, and I can turn each one of them on and off as I need. I could then put the glass in layer three and have it always be fairly transparent. So now I'm going to switch to a nice blue, give myself, whoops, not yet, make sure we're in layer three. Now give myself a blue box and I can make him subdivided just in case and I can make him transparent. Maybe I want to make a fishbowl effect or windows, or clouds in the sky for an art piece. 
layer transparency lets you see through things. So layer three is the blue cube. Layer two is the pink cube. Layer one is the green cube. To help you keep track, you can actually touch right on the name itself. And it's going to let you change the name. So that one is the green layer. Green layer. We're now going to change the name of layer two. That's going to be the pink layer. So now I can tell at a glance which layer is which. So these controls let you really work with, might as well name that guy while we're here, blue. Blue. So now we've got these different layers in their positions being handled and controlled independently. If I had indeed accidentally drawn that blue cube on the pink layer, you can see it's now on the pink layer. That's okay. You can actually move items from one layer to another. So here I am grabbing my blue cube and I really want to add it to layer three. You'll notice while I'm holding the blue cube, that red bar in my controller. If I have the red bar touch a layer, see how it turns green? That little red dot touching the layer, pink, green, pink, blue. If I let go while one of those layers is highlighted, it is now part of layer three. You can see he's even transparent. I'm going to do that again. Grab an object, like a cube. The red in your controller, in this case, look for that red dot. When that red dot touches a layer, it's going to turn green. When you let go while it's green, now it is transparent. He is part of the transparent blue layer. It's tricky. It'll take a little bit of practice. Touching it turns the layer green. Letting go then puts your object part of that layer. So we can group things up, move things around, try things with different combinations, no harm, no foul. Adding as many layers as you like, it can hold quite a few, so you can really build up an object, a, a sketch from many different pieces, and control those pieces independently. If you want to delete a layer, you don't need it anymore. With your grabber tool, you'll notice I can grab the outside edge to move it around. If I actually grab a layer, see how it turns purple now? I can rip that layer off and use my delete to delete the entire layer. It will warn you, deleting a layer is one of the few things you cannot undo. So if you say yes, there's no way to get that back. I hope you had saved it earlier, you can go back to, because if I grab the blue layer and delete the blue layer, my blue objects are gone and nothing will bring them back. If I try undo, I get all the other undo stuff, but I don't get those pieces back. It's forward through time, get my pieces back, but that's what we're getting at. We can manipulate pieces and manipulate layers. Not only can we delete them, but you'll notice you can drag them around to change the order. It doesn't have very much effect since they all move through each other, but it can help you keep track of your pieces' parts. So layers, we've got a menu to control them, and the menu itself is interactive. Deleting layers, adding layers, renaming layers, even moving object from one layer to another. This will give you a lot more control over a larger, more complicated gravity sketch. I hope this helps and gives you some things to try of your own. We're going to leave that up here. 
And I'm going to add our usual secret message down at the bottom here. We'll go a bright green. Thanks for joining us. Oops, we've already got green on there. We'll go for an orange. Thanks for joining us this time. We do this all the time here at youtube.com slash shameless mayhem. Let us know in the comments if you have questions. Let us know if there are any uh, lessons you'd like us to teach, any tools you want to know more about. This one was all about layers in Gravity Sketch. Have fun. I hope to see you next time.